What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I don't know how true this story is, so honestly, let me be completely honest. I don't know how true this story is. According to Sam Clef, who posted it, he said the video allegedly buys Choma a 900k mansion in Atlanta as push gifts. Well, it's capable to buy that, or it's capable to buy that. <laughs> But I don't know if the story is true. This was released by one guy, Ismail, October 6, 2023. Then uh, Sam Clef wrote, he said, Breaking news, David Doe allegedly by Choma is now directly imagining Atlanta has pulled short grief. We are making a tap from this grace. Remember, that woman, they humble. Now, woman, we humble and reserved like Choma. They could buy a house for living in land. How true is that story? Mm -hmm. 900 key doors. What's the necessity? What's the necessity of buying a house for your wife when you guys are living together, staying together? I really don't understand it all because if I am getting married, my wife is part of me. So everything I own automatically, my wife also is the owner as well because we have become one. So buying things separately, I kind of like I don't see the, the good idea about it. So, so please, all the relationship experts out there, educate me. For me, I don't see the good idea in it buying things separately as couples when we are already one. Can decide to do things together. Instead, if you have that mindset of getting divorced or marrying another wife or running from, running away from your husband to to another man or divorcing your husband, that's when I we are we okay? I will understand why people buy things separately. Maybe a man gives his wife a house for what? Who is going to stay in the house? Well, nine hundred k thousand US dollars. That is like nine hundred million naira in Atlanta. And whiskey at home in Atlanta is not worth even close to two hundred thousand US dollars. Yes, so as I then if you check way back news when whiskey, uh, sorry, I said whiskey when they go bought the house. If you check way back, check way back. Why do I always? Uh, make mistake with your uh, whiskey and they will uh, stop. But if you check way back news when they will bought the house, then you will know the exact amount. You know, it's not close to them. You are buying your wife now and drinking. I don't believe the news. I think the news is fake. But notwithstanding, that was the headline. To check it. But I know one news that is real. Was the one posted by to the head dot. You see this gift. Apparently, uh, David Doe dropped one hundred k dollars to buy his bags. I think it's Hermes bag, Hermes bag for Choma as a push of gift. So I don't know if the house was included. After the house, they will spend extra one hundred k. Making a million dollars, making one billion naira. David Doe apparently, apparently spent on Choma's push up, uh, push up gift. Push up gift is like you know giving birth, you know welcoming twins, double blessing, all those kind of stuff. I believe the back aspect, but the house aspect I don't believe. Since this. Post was posted by today and not a very good person, a person who is really, really close to close to trauma. Then yeah, I understand that might be true, but the house, I don't believe it. Now, Andre K, what do I make me go buy one? Now, Andre K house now. I have said, my wife, why, why? Well, I've seen some uh, uh, men who have actually done that too. Nice, so, but what is the motive behind it? Are we getting divorced really soon? Am I settling you? 
I can decide to buy you car, I can decide to buy you bags, put you on a monthly salary, put you on your monthly salary, put you on some kind of an investment, buy you shares, but buying you a house and properties and land is something I don't really get. I can't, I can't do that because I think doing that would be like automatically means uh, that I will be I will be planning on divorcing you and settling you. Or even as a wife, going outside to buy uh, properties. Properties for yourself. Properties, houses for yourself that your husband is not aware of. Like you are planning on divorcing your husband now. You are planning on divorcing your husband. It's good for to invest as a wife. Will invest on properties that you want to put on rentage. That you can also support the family as well. Don't, don't just to also buy some gift for your husband is is okay, but buying a house for my wife when we are meant to be one, I don't think is ideal. I'm not going to do it, and I will not support it. Honestly speaking, I, uh, but if you can do it and you should support it, kind of let me know. Let me know how you feel about it and uh, educate me and tell me. Okay. This is the these are the disadvantage and these are the advantage of doing it. But for me, I don't think that's a good idea. But I do not believe oh, I don't believe that now that you lie lying. There's nothing that will make me believe that that guy actually bought nine hundred K worth property for Juma. For the bags aspect, fine, good. For nine hundred K on property. That is a huge life. That is like 900 million. No receipt, nothing, nothing. Of course, you trust the internet now. No receipt, nothing, nothing. And you just, boom, one news. Just like the twins news came out. No receipt, nothing, nothing. But it actually came out to be true. That's what I really, really like. It actually came out to be true, which is nice though. Then let's talk about the EFCC now, boy. Palaba. I call it Palaba because it has been something that I've been talking about every time the EFCC versus the old boy. So recently the EFCC said the EFCC arrest 46 suspected internet froster in Calabar MT. Operated on the Oyo Zona Command of the Economy and Financial Crime. Commission EFCC have arrested 46 suspected internet froster at different locations within Calabar, Cross River State, and anti local government area of Aquaimbo State. Why the Calabar why the Calabar suspects were arrested on October 13, 23, their Ekiti counterpart were nabbed on Sunday, October 15, 23. Both arrested via intelligent base. 22 suspects were arrested in Calabar and they are okay. Their names were able to be published. And uh, they seized cars, phones, uh, of course, ATM cards. That's all. And they paraded them. Of course, they didn't show their face. Which is kind of like good now. They be gone like before. They will just show their face and say they are criminals. You know, it's easy if you want to know exactly how EFCC operate nowadays. It's easy as a guy man if you want to know how EFCC operate nowadays. But I do not support these young boys for one bit. I pray they should get all of them arrested. I do not support them. But I think it's easy if you want to know how EFCC operates. Very, very easy. Any club, any fun house that you see a lot of guys there, do not go there. Do not attend. Do not go to that place any day. If you see any hotel, any fun place, any club, or the beer palace, you see a lot of guys, no. Guys are always coming there. You see the appearance of the guys, not men or guys, most more guys always coming there. Do not go there. 
if not, one day, one day, you will be not. Maybe that day you decide to go there. That's the same day that EFCC want to able to do their operation. Before you know it, they don't put you there. I know EFCC now. If you honestly, I can believe you check their cell. I believe they will have more than a thousand boys there. Thousands, thousand boys in that cell waiting for investigation, some just being there for internet fraud and so many other stuff. It's crazy. Why not leave internet fraud alone? Why not enter family now? Do all that business system. Do all that business. We are all struggling. It's hard. But we are we are praying and by our by what we do. God will surely, surely bless us. But come on chance for internet.